Hey everyone, so today we're out in the Caribou. We're actually on a real gold claim. Uh, Eric, who owns the claim, was nice enough to give me permission to have some fun on it today. So I'm digging some test holes and uh, see what we can see. So I scraped away some of the, the moss and the roots and you can see I'm hitting some river rock, it's rounded rock, kind of a, a gravelly material. And I uh, run it in the uh, nearby creek here. Which uh, very careful not to sink in the mud. So I've I've got some results here just from a modest shovelful. You can see that uh, there is gold on here. This is kind of the high bank which he advised me to check out. So that's just a you know a good shovelful, a good panful. Kind of more chunky than what I'm used to in Alberta. So I'm not sure if this is a good amount for a sample or not, but. I'll take it. It's color in the pan, so it's nice. So I'll I'll probably check out a little bit more. Probably do some metal detecting. Just check the area out. Yeah, there's definitely been some hard work done here. Look at that pit. I put my shovel in just for comparison. The creek is just a slow moving body of water that goes around. Very muddy in some places. Gotta watch where you step or you might sink right in. Pretty dense woods too. So we're out on this claim and we've done some prospecting, dug a few holes and we found out that this spot more or less has the best amount of color per shovel. So I've gone ahead and kind of dug around the moss. And if you go a few inches deep, six inches deep, you start to hit the rock. So I've cleared some of the, the natural dirt and, and uh, decomposition trees and shit and now I'm ready to run some dirt. Got the high banker set up. We uh, hauled it into the woods here and found a nice little spot close to the creek where we can access water. The runoff is good because it can settle before it enters the water system again. So uh, we're going to run this pile of dirt. I'm going to work my way up there and then uh, work my way down towards the high banker so it'll get easier as I go. Who are you? Fish are jumping. Okay, it's day two of gold claim. I'm uh, ready to start digging. I've cleared a whole bunch of the moss and stuff. Here, I'll show you. So, I'm down to the good stuff. So, I'm going to dig that down about three feet and then I'm gonna take another sample and if it peters out then I'm just gonna stay within the, the three feet and move around. Left my stuff here set up overnight. No cows came in and trampled it so that's great. So the best part is we're ready to just start up and start digging. Let's do it.
So we've been working for a couple hours now and uh, I just did my first clean out. I'm, uh, we've dug down to um, pass all the top layers of dirt and mulch and plants and shit. And uh, we're down to the nice fine gravel, rounded stone. So I wanted to do a clean out because the mats were getting pretty gummed up. It's all ready to go again. Uh, I do have the extension put on here because I just don't trust that uh, that yellow matting to uh, catch everything. Uh, so I, I set it up just to be sure. I'm going to change that out as soon as I can. Uh, based on other testing, I've I've found gold in the uh, in the extension, so uh, I don't like that yellow stuff. So onward, and we'll do the second part of our uh, pay dirt. Can't wait. Well, it's been a good day on the gold claim. We uh, dug ourselves a big hole and uh, little samples from there show that there is some, some gold in there, better spots than others. It's uh, went a little overboard there. I found some nice rocks. So I decided to dig down and see what was underneath them. That big rock there fell at the end. So I got all my cons in a bucket and uh, we will process them at a later time. Well, there's what a lot of work looks like. And I gotta thank my wife who helped rake out the grizzly bars and keep everything flowing while I was digging. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. Best wife ever. Well, at least I know where I can keep the body. Oh, shit. So before I leave, I'm gonna go through the hole and the, and the tailings with my gold bug too. Just make sure there's no nuggets that are left. tested this thing with a, a one gram nugget and it does go off. What a surprise. Nothing. Let's go over the tailings just in case something went through the bars. This is a six inch coil. No, I don't think there's anything here. Let's call it a day. So again, I'd like to thank the claim owner for letting me uh, play on his claim and uh, finding some gold, hopefully. I'll let him know my results and uh, hopefully we can find out uh, where the best spot on his claim is. So thanks for uh, letting me spend the day, a couple days in fact, day and a half. Uh, we had lots of fun and uh, we'll see what we can find. Hey, look who's back. It's our friend the owl. Doing the first part of the Blue Lake claim. This is the top six inches of soil. Some good bits of gold in there. They start to appear to the blue bowl. So here's the first part of my results from the gold claim from uh, the caribou. This is uh, the first clean out which uh, represents about the first six to eight inches of gravels that I went through and processed. It 
the next part is where I went uh, six inches and in deeper. So you can see there's some there's some flaky gold in there. So here are the results of the gold claim six inches and deeper. I found that the, the flakes got a little bit bigger. Not too bad little pieces there. So I'll tally up the two ends and see what my total weight was. So this is my final tally from the gold claim in the caribou. The, the top file is from the first, uh, I would say, six to eight inches of dirt that I uh, put through the high banker and it's 0 0.06 of a gram. And the bottom vial is pretty much everything underneath that. And you can see from the picture that I'll post at the end is uh, 0.2 of a gram. So certainly there's gold from the top all the way to the bottom. The higher concentration is towards probably at least the uh, foot to foot and a half mark. And that's what the claim owner uh, gave me some advice on doing anyways. So. So yeah, that's my uh, that's what I brought back from the caribou. At least it's nothing better than nothing, I should say. So I'll take that information and remember that for the next time I head out. Thanks for watching. Hey cows, get out of my way. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, you, get out of my way. Moo. Moo to you. Over. I'll see you on my plate later. What you looking at?
out here on this gold claim. We've dug a few holes, did a little prospect bit. <laughs> Jeannie, our gold panning dog, looking for squirrels. What she doesn't realize is that one ran all the way across that log and she didn't even see it. But I hear one. There's one taunting her right now. <laughs>